Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Cancer, the relationship. Guys, I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this relationship and this connection. We'll see what's going on with you guys this month. Hmm. Now, Scorpio, I am seeing here that you are having some trouble releasing something. There's something that you are refusing to let go of because you don't truly believe that it's over. In your head, something is still existing. Something is working. Something that I don't know if I don't know if you're being delusional about a situation. I'm not saying that at all, but I do think that something that is over all right, and I think this is very specific. Something that is over, you, for some reason, you don't believe it's over. All right, so there are delays in accepting that something is over. You're not forcing a situation, though. All right, that's the key thing. Now, I also see for your energy here, and this could be um, part of you not forcing anything. You're just kind of allowing time for things to play out. See, I think Scorpio feels that if they let some time pass, maybe whatever this conflict is they're having with cancer is just going to roll over. Or maybe, Scorpio, that's what you're asking for. Give me some time so I can let things roll over because I was disappointed in something. I was disappointed in something. All right, you were let down. I felt like, you know, I felt like I was betrayed. I feel like I was let down. I feel like this is... See, but the thing is, the vibe that I'm getting from this, really, is that it feels like it is not just... I don't think this is something that necessarily happened within this particular connection. I feel like these are things that are carried over from the past. All right? I feel like the Temperance card is what Scorpio needs. That's time so that Scorpio can um, release these things, which I see... Scorpio is actively doing. So I do see some self-development here on the end of Scorpio, trying to get rid of some things from the past. This could be addictions. This could be codependency. It could be addictions. It could be gambling. It could be smoking. It could be whatever. So I kind of feel like you guys are releasing some things that don't serve you anymore. But I think connections to certain individuals is also what you're releasing. I feel that a lot. I think that you're starting to understand that this behavior that seems to be carried over is hindering uh, what could potentially be very successful relationships. Now, for cancer, I feel like there's a ton of things that you carry. I feel like not only do you carry your own stuff, but I also feel like you carry things from Scorpio, okay? Because I see somebody who, I see somebody who has not just one broken heart, but maybe multiple, and I see like you're mending multiple broken hearts and I feel like one by one you have to go in and kind of um overly prove yourself about why you're not like the last one that did that or something like that I feel like not comparison but I feel like there's an over making up for that is exhausting you there's no room for you to even meet with your friends right maybe you guys go to work or whatever but you're so exhausted from giving and giving and giving that and this I feel like is emotional giving just giving and giving. I'm overwhelmed. I'm burdened. I can't. I need a break. Like, I need to focus on myself. That's something that I need. Whether or not you're acknowledging it, Cancer, I don't know. All right? So, that's what I have for that. Now, I do see the Six of Pentacles reversed here. This talks about generosity, me trying to help you out. But it's got heavy strings attached, okay? Well, we have somebody who's giving and giving and giving, or maybe you're not. But this talks about generosity with strings attached. So I feel like the strings attached with this, I'm trying to be generous, but, you know, I want things to move a certain way. I want things to move fast. You see the Knight of Wands here. I want things to be moving along where you have somebody else here who requires time. Not only do I see where Scorpio requires time, they know they need it. I think they're acknowledging that. And they're telling you this is something that they want you, that you want to move forward and I don't think Scorpio can give you what it is you're asking for at the moment because Scorpio is working to shed some of the things that are going on, these feelings. I feel like Scorpio is very aware and doesn't want to bring this energy that's made an interruption. I feel like, Cancer, I'm surprised you're even still there with all this going on. You understand what I'm saying? The emotions that come from that. It seems like, so I feel like Scorpio understands that this is potentially ruining my relationship because I have somebody here who's committed they want to be with me, whatever, whatever, whatever. They desire for this relationship to move fast. Don't even question that. I'm just saying. Why you want it to move so fast? Hmm? Why you want it to move so fast? 
Mm. Okay. What I get from this reading overall, guys, um, is there are going to be some delays because somebody is asking that, um, basically I'm sitting back, I'm trying to heal myself right now. I don't know if I can necessarily commit to somebody who I have to see. I feel like this energy is rushing. I feel like cancer, you might be going a little bit too fast. This is like, but I'm giving you the love that you always wanted. Yeah. But after that and all, and then all this to happen, I'm not sure if I can just jump right in something. That's what I'm getting. So I feel like you're going to see a Scorpio in this relationship who is um, walking in wisdom in a sense because this is something that they're trying to leave behind. I do see the work being done. But I also see somebody here who's overwhelmed with burdens because I don't have any downtime. I'm too busy trying to make you happy. All right. So I kind of feel like two stories with this. I feel like this is a couple that is together. Right. But I also feel like there is... Uh, you guys are new, like you just met or something like that. It's something very new, meant for it to be a fling type of, I don't know. All right, so I feel like there's an element of newness with another one and somebody wants to move forward and the other one's not ready. So the cards are advising you guys, you need to get to know each other, get to know what you guys both stand for, okay, before just um, committing to some kind of relationship where you know nothing about the person. All right, so this could be new love for you guys. It could be an enhanced love. It could be you guys getting together after a transformation. Maybe both you guys had a transformation or one of you guys had a major transformation and you have to reacclimate yourselves with each other over and over and over again. All right. And this person now has to accept the elements of the new you and little parts of the old you coming in. Okay. So whatever that means to you guys. But so that's what I'm getting for you. Let me just, uh, I'll pull one of these. These are, these are energy oracle, oracle of the seven energies, oracle of the seven energies, and this is Crow Tarot that I used for this reading. The Scorpio Cancer, January 2022, January 2022, tell me what I need to know for this couple. Mm, seeing beyond, okay. I, th I feel like you guys are going to start to express yourselves a little bit more so that each of you start to understand where you're coming from. I feel like there needs to be some kind of healing done. And we do see that definitely on the end of Scorpio. There's some healing that needs to be done here. But overall, I feel like bringing things into fruition. Understanding that there are certain things that need to be dealt with before I can actually achieve my goals. Like, I have to... Fix myself. Or we have to fix ourselves. I'm still trying to figure out why you're trying to move so fast. Beyond beyond the ordinary. Okay. So I see here with this one, somebody is feeling like in terms of stability, there is no stability. Like this is something that I'm lacking. So what I'm trying to do is gain stability and manifest what it is that I want. All right. What I'm doing is focusing on the areas of my life where I have, I have conflict, where things change where I feel unstable, I'm trying to turn this energy around because there is something here that I want to accomplish. Again, I feel like this really is about uh, one of you guys at least. I don't want to say that. I think both you guys are trying to get yourselves together, but I think I have somebody struggling with don't you trust me because I want, I want this with you, but the other one's taking their time to get themselves together. When this person, Scorpio, gives themselves completely to cancer, they want to give you a whole person. Allow time for that to happen. One more, please. Give me one more. One more. Mm, body and soul. Conflict, change, and instability. Okay. Mm, got a conflict here. In perfect harmony. Hmm, tell me more about that. New opportunities. Okay. I see... I see somebody here who wants to do the work on something and they understand that once the work is done, meaning I acknowledge there's conflict, change, and stability. And at this point, I'm looking for perfect harmony. That's not going to come until I'm able to heal myself. So I think this is a strong message to Scorpio or however this goes for you, wherever this fits. I think this is a strong message maybe you guys are giving to each other. Maybe one's will um, is to prove I can be there. I'm going to be that person. I'm going to be that for you. And then we have another one fighting with, I want to be that person for you. I want to be that person for you. But this person's issue is you will not let me be that person for you. This person is the person I have available to you right now. It's not who I want to give to you. 
So I have to have time. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull a message card for this one. I don't think I'm going to do... Give me a message for Scorpio and Cancer, please, for January 2022. January 2022, please. January 2022 message, please. January 2022. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. Now, this is reversed. We did mention earlier that there are some things that are playing out in the background that need to be done before you guys can get together. We already said that. And it's confirmation right there. Give me one more, please. Give me one more. In order to get to this harmony, let's see, all debt paid off. Like, yeah, this is reversed, right? Uh, the odd weight and habit of an old debt is lifted from you and your life, all right? Now, this is reversed, all right? So, like I said before, I kind of feel like there's somebody here who wants to be a whole, complete person before they jump into something else. If you guys know you're for each other, a lot of time to be, you know, given or extended to each other so that the work can be done. All right, I'm going to leave it there. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. Thank you, Scorpio and Cancer. Thank you, thank you. I see you guys trying to gain some kind of harmony, being real with each other. All right, love you. Bye.